The Protecting Workers from Secondhand Smoke Act would eliminate loopholes that expose casino workers to secondhand smoke, expand the definition of smoking to include e-cigarettes, and empower local governments to enact smoke-free ordinances. Public officials have a responsibility uh, to protect public health. Some wonder if banning smoking would hurt casinos revenue. Richard McGarvey with the Pennsylvania Gaming Control Board says Parks Casinos are the only casinos in the state that continued to ban indoor smoking after the pandemic. McGarvey says Parks revenue is consistent when compared to non COVID years. It's also the largest in terms of revenue in the state. I think public opinion has changed. We've seen uh, the number of smokers drop precipitously. It's 2023. We know this stuff kills. Brian Gilboy is a table games dealer, and he says he shouldn't have to choose between his good job at the casino and his health. When a machine breaks, they just wheel it out, get a new one. Then when the dealer breaks, you know, within a week, yo, know, you got a new dealer, and that's not right. And Frankel says that he expects this bill to get bipartisan support. And if he has it his way and everything goes smoothly, it could be enacted through within the year. Live in York, I'm Jocelyn Howard, WGAL News 8.